Hello you guys, welcome to the Ranting Shop with me, Melissa. And right now I'm gonna be doing the review for a love and marriage and spill. So I believe it is season three or four, and this is episode two. Okay, we're gonna just get into things. The Scott brothers meet at black. Okay, and the basis of the union was to was for Maurice to apparently get some type of apology from Marceau about him posting that picture of them on that boy strip in Atlanta. But the thing about it is, why do you need an apology? An apology for what? That's the thing I don't get. What is the apology supposed to be for? I mean, at the end of the day, Marceau has a point. You lied. And you keep trying to make it seem like you didn't lie. You lied. You told the viewers and everybody that was tuning in at, on that day that you were not there to be privy to Marta's relationship with Arion. You said that. You said you were not there. So that's the issue that we're having is that you're not taking accountability for lying because you know... If you have to finally take accountability for your lies, it means you're going to have to take accountability for everything else that you've previously lied about. And that's something it seems like you're not ready to really come to terms with. But I don't think Marceau has anything to apologize for. At the end of the day, you lied. And I suppose he was trying to prove that you were lying. Initially, it did come across like it was a silly thing that Marceau did, like a funny little silly thing, a uh, uh, um, private joke type of situation. But then he really did post it to prove that Mar Maurice was lying. I do not believe that he will get an apology from Marceau. Marceau is very stubborn. And if he doesn't feel like you deserve an apology, you're not getting any apology. And so far, so far, he seems like he's very um, unregretful about his actions. So I don't know why Maur Maurice called Marceau's post a joke. I don't know why he says that Marceau still sees it as a joke because I never thought Marceau took it as a joke. I never thought Marceau posted it as a prank or as a joke. So I don't know why Maurice intends to run with that whole, oh, he thought he still thinks it's a joke type of thing. It sounds ridiculous at this point, especially knowing that it wasn't a joke to him. Even after Mar Marceau explained it wasn't a joke, it was to prove that you were lying. He still keeps running with that joke thing. Okay, so essentially he calls Maurice a liar and um, thinks that he should stop lying. So he talks about nobody knew, um, everybody knew he was there before the um, picture was posted. That's a lie. The audience members knew nothing about whether he lied or what said he was there didn't say he was there don't put us in your mess okay we don't know anything about anything in fact a lot of us were surprised when we did see you in that picture at that atlanta trip so don't come and put us in your mess we knew nothing of the sort what we did realize or come to the conclusion of is that you lied when mars when we saw that marcel posted a picture and you were in that picture that's what we found out so you lied to us. So don't come and lie to us continuously there. You you can gaslight your wife, but you can't gaslight us. So don't try. So Martel comes in, and I call them the cheating crew, and asks the men to bring out the kids for the book signing that he's going to be doing on the, that Saturday. And most of them mentioned they, can't, they couldn't make it. Um, Marta's perspective about the particular post that Marceau did was he thought it was a joke then thought it was more serious and was like maybe something deeper is going on essentially the lies that's what Martel is essentially saying the lies must be backed up okay according to I guess it's bro code to when your brother lies you have to 
like back him up on that lie i suppose that's broke old. um and that speaks a lot to the dynamic of not even these guys but the cast in general how they kind of lie a lot and they try to keep a certain level of privacy through lies so they try to guard their secrets through lies and the other con uh, not contestants but the other um cast might you know go along with that person's narrative just to pro protect their image so to speak so it's not far-fetched to think that they lie and they back up each other's lies um Martel was actually adding fuel to the fire under that post. I think he added Arion and he said thank you to Arion because Arion said she's the one that took the picture. So to me, that was super messy of Martel to do. So I don't know. You do that and then behind closed doors, you're saying, oh, you don't want them to get a divorce over this. And really and truly, you don't give a hell about their marriages, honestly. So then martha came to defend his friend lou big lou he says they were throwing jabs at him and the thing with marcel that annoys me is he keeps calling them meaning lou and tiffany a brand new couple but they're not a brand new couple they've been married prior to their current union so if anything they know what not to do to end up in a state of divorce the second time around if they fail the second time around, okay, then we could talk about them not being necessarily qualified to speak to people about marriages. But if they have gone through it, are better people, and can speak to what not to do, then I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, I do know that you have to be very careful as to who you decide to give advice to, especially when it comes to men about their marriage, about their, their relationships. Um, for Marceau, that's a touchy thing. And he came at them very aggressively for even daring to want to go there. So everyone talks about the marriage. Like I've said that multiple times. Everybody talks about Marceau and Tisha's marriage it's it's not a very good marriage at all um i don't think anybody wants to be in tisha's place i don't think the one of the reasons people don't really admire or respect tisha is that she's still in the marriage and she doesn't seem to want to really do any type of investigation to find out if martel marceau was lying or not she just takes his word for it and it kind of annoys people because it's like this man is clearly cheating why don't you do, 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 do that you know um he says people have to earn their rights to give their opinions on his marriage hmm. even even um mental professionals that's crazy lou and tiffany talk about the pajama party and talks about stormy intervening on kimmy and her conversation stormy is essentially doing the same thing tiffany did last season and tiffany doesn't like it but you notice that the audience responds to Stormy differently than they responded to Tiffany. And I feel like it's because with Tiffany, she was just as inquisitive, but her approach was to put out people's business. Stormy hasn't done that. And I think that's the reason why she does, hasn't gotten on too many people's bad sides. But the thing about Stormy, some people like her, some people don't. Because they feel like, why are you there just bringing up people's mess? You know, kind of like taking the shit, your shit, and putting it in front of your nose so you can sniff it. It's like, I've already done that. I've already taken the shit. Why do I have to? Why are you bringing it back to my nose so I can sniff it? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Sorry for that disgusting analogy, you guys. Okay, so... <laughs> So, um, yeah, they really did come at them really hard. At some point, I was really feeling sorry for them because I was like, oh, my gosh, this is a lot. Because I got over that thing about transparency pretty quickly. But, of course, obviously, the cast didn't, when, especially when they watched the show for themselves and they saw the things um, Tiffany was doing. They were not pleased, always. So, I said that they came at them hard because they have their secrets to protect and you're coming in there threatening to put out people's business they're not gonna take that well they're gonna come at you fighting 
because you're threatening their image you're threatening their um pers people's perspective of them and they're not gonna take that very nicely so i completely understand why marcel got as angry as he did now lou wants to speak one-on-one -on -one with Mars so that's gonna be a very intense conversation as we saw in the previews I really cannot wait to see how that goes but according to Mars so if they throw a light at his house he says he's burning there's done that's what he says um or anything to protect his secrets his image or whatever it is he's, he's fiercely guarding um according to him it's his family I don't know if that's really what it is but now so they they're talking themselves they have known marshall for a long time but you would never think that because the re the way they interact with each other it appears as if they're new to huntsville they're new to the group they don't know anybody in the group and it's crazy that they do know marshall and they've known marshall for a very long time um and then louis talking about them being associates and he wanting to have a real conversation to move forward and it might get physical if it's taken there and so on and so forth um now mel and the kids mariah and mom are kind of aspiring actors and she's kind of doing an audition for a scene and mariah is helping her with the camera work and also running lines mom is super proud of her daughter she seems like really giddy about her daughter tells mariah why she works a lot and wants to be an example of what a woman can do independently she wants to be better well before i even get into that um so that's really good um i think that her initiative is is a really good one um but there is kind of a danger yes it's important for children to see that their moms are can be very successful independently of a man but we must also be careful to not g give them the idea that they are they don't need men or they can do things on their own and you know because at the end of the day you do need men for something you know to carry heavy things to fight people for you if you you know get into some debacle or whatever but yeah the independent route is also very um good to teach the children so they can they've technically seen both sides they've seen married melody and they've seen independent melody you know and i feel like she's been a very good mother and she's been a very good role model for her children in regards to her work ethic and her her determination to get where she wants to go now she says mariah says she wants to be a better tennis player than serena williams and you know melody was like okay let's get on it we need a coach and we need a this and that so that was very sweet to see the interaction with mom and first daughter mariah now martel and mom martel brings samples of wine for mom to taste since he does drink he doesn't really drink um according to him it's a premium sweet wine named after her mom um mom is excited about that wine i've never seen her so I, i've never seen martel's mom so excited about anything than when i saw her in this particular scene is she a warmie or something i don't know his motivation was enjoying a sweet red wine with milk that was always sold out so he decided to make his own um of course his mom talks to him gives him some words of motivation to carry him through tells him that you know life is a roller coaster sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad but at least praise yourself or you know be happy with the progress that you've made coming from a low place or a dark place or an impossible place it was a it was good advice um mom to me doesn't come across very very um lovey-dovey like when i say lovey-dovey i mean she's not a very touchy feely type of mom that's always hugging her child wants to be all up on her she seems like she's a little bit tough she's a little bit of a tough mom um so yeah so 
she's enjoying the wine she tells matcha the wine that she likes the most i think matcha was trying to teach her how to properly sample the wine but she didn't give a damn she was like let me just drink the wine how i typically drink my wine and, and don't tell me nothing you know so anyways that was a good little interaction and he invites her to the book signing with his kid um, when it comes to his kids book signing event and of course she says she's gonna be there and stuff like that so um we're gonna move on to Marceau and the kids they're all in the house they're they're roasting marshmallows i mean i agree with his son 100 percent. you could do all kinds of things you could become an entrepreneur you can do all these things but you don't know how to roast the marshmallow like are, are we serious right now so they talk about he talks about generational wealth and what it looks like spending time with his family and they talk about countries in africa that they'd like to visit as a family and he's lying talking about oh i went there so that i could be all tour guides so when you visit africa i know where to take your lies you wanted to go to africa to get away from that very same family you come in there talking about mm, generational wealth with and all this stuff sometimes Mar marceau just like baffles my brain cells so maurice and mattel talk and he doesn't think their marriage is anyone's business to discuss and of course they're talking he's talking to tisha and she she also doesn't think it was necessarily bullying um she brings up the secret house thing and he mentions that his scar has his name printed on it so if he were to pack his car next to any secret apartment everybody would know that he was there because his name was printed on the thing um tisha to me is playing miss gullible she she always just seems to be satisfied with anything Mar Mar tell marceau tells her she seems satisfied but she still is still skeptical almost like she wants to dig for more information but she's afraid to do so um kimmy and marceau so kimmy and maurice are packing their things for their honeymoon and this honeymoon has been talked about since the beginning of time they had a marriage three years from today and of course when people get married there's an immediate honeymoon that comes after but for what for whatever reason that honeymoon didn't take place and so now i guess they've come to a point where they can both attend their honeymoon and she mentions holding on to lo lingerie that mel and tisha gifted her that she could finally use talks about mel's pajama party she was baffled that kiki was there and so was maurice the way they responded to kiki being there they both seemed like they were kind of irritated maybe they have some not so good history about kiki who knows stormy was there to start mess that's my opinion kiki was talking too much i'm talking about a person that wasn't even invited and um she mentions yes she'll have a conversation with destiny and with tisha about what went on at that event but she's not gonna do it right now she's gonna do it maybe after her honeymoon has taken place and i completely agree with that and the whole thing is oh make sure you get all the sides of the story and tisha and kimmy is like isn't that what i always do before i make a conclusion which is kind of true she doesn't she never jumps on anybody's train like she often waits and she assesses things on her own which is something i do admire about her, and which is something that she and melody bonded on as well uh so martel and the kids book signing this was a whole drama you guys okay so first of all martel is doing a book signing when he doesn't have the kids so essentially what he did was he planned a book signing for, now if you guys don't know him and the kids did a book together called i think the book is called a trip to canada or something of that sort and he planned that whole book signing thing at a point where melody was gonna have the kids as per the legal documents you know as per the the divorce agreement the 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 child cust the children custody agreement the child custody agreement whatever it's called so 
according to Melody, as she was talking to her mom, they did talk about situations where or situations pertaining to the kids where if she has the kids she normally plans whatever she has to do around when she has the kids if she wants the kids to be involved in whatever it is and the same for him so it just baffles me as to why this man would plan a book signing that involves the kids but not at least tell melody in advance or at least do it when you have the kids wouldn't that be much easier for you to do i feel like what it is is that he figured that he'd do he'd make it he'd put it at any date because he was very sure that melody would give him the kids that's what it was maybe she has done it before but for whatever reason she didn't want to do it at that particular time and according to what we've learned Melody has lost two family members and on her mo mother's side and she's gonna go spend some time with her mom and her family with the kids because according to the conversation she had with her mom the family didn't really get to interact with the kids so that would be a good opportunity for them to be around their f the, the other side of their family so if I were Melody I also would not give him the kids because i already have my plans around the kids the kids are supposed to join me to meet my family you understand and i even think it's insensitive of mattel to expect melody to just like just adjust her plan without the kids when the whole point was for the kids to meet her side of the family so i believe that if we did not get Melody's side of things, we would have the impression that, oh, Melody is just bitter and trying to keep the kids away from Martel. But what it really was, according to both sides of their story, was that he just planned very poorly. And because he did that, it ended up not working out favorably for him because he did this whole book signing thing. And... The kids were not even there and the kids are essentially the main character and people are coming up to him asking him where's the kids, where's the kids, where's the kids and he's having to explain that oh they're with their mom but if you had explained it properly to Melody as to what you were doing and why you would need them she would be able to plan her thing, her situation around their absence. You know what I'm saying and because you didn't give the lady the the proper for, the proper um the proper time to work out what she was gonna do you know you kind of made it a little bit impossible for her to just say okay here's the kid you know what i mean that's crazy you know it's, it's just so confusing and then the mom's reason for him scheduling the situation the book signing while he was she was with that it was not his turn to be with the kids is to kind of control her and manipulate her and so on and so forth that may be the case but i don't know about all that what i do know is what he did was kind of stupid okay what he did was very stupid and let him tell it melody is the devil for doing that to him when it was really more so his fault you know don't blame her for your lack of foresight. And you know what killed me was the ending of the the the, see, the show was so melodramatic with the sad music and Mattel picking up the things and cleaning up the the site after the book signing event by himself and the sad music. That was like so pathetic to me. Like whatever. This episode was. Uh, just very interesting. Mel and the kids are going on their trip regardless. Um, and um, they're going to go see Mel's mom. And I wish them the best. Of course, they've already taken that trip months before. But anyways, you guys, let me know what you think about this particular episode. Were you on Team Mel or Team Mattel? Who do you think is the most or was the more sensible in this situation? Do you think Melody should have just given him the kids? For something that Martel claims they really wanted to do. Or do you think that Martel should have planned the event better. And probably made it 
at all or let it happen around the time he had the children let me know in the comment section like subscribe and see you guys next time for another review from me melissa in the hunting shop bye